We're always looking for ways to get outside and enjoy what Minnesota has to offer in the winter. A favorite of ours is snow tubing. Fun to do with family or great to do on your own. We learned Buck Hill has their tubing lanes open to enjoy. There's 14 lanes uh, and we currently are set up to do every every half hour uh, tickets are sold in two hour blocks every half hour throughout the day starting when we open uh, tubing which is 11 o'clock. Buy your tickets online, uh, you get a barcode, you show up at the ticket office um, where the tubing hill is, there's a little kind of we call it the snack shack and uh, they give you a ticket um, and then you just grab your tube and there's a little magic carpet that takes you up to the top and, and off you roll uh, and you get that for about two hours. Okay, that sounds great. So tell me a little bit about the lanes. Are any lanes faster than others? You know, it's a little bit weather dependent uh, and you know, it can, it can kind of vary day to day. Uh, Mother Nature gets colder. Uh, if, it, if it gets wet out, it gets a little more icy. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, going down a sheet of ice can definitely make the, make the tubes go a little bit quicker, but we try to keep the lanes as, as consistent as possible. Sure. Our, our outdoor crew does a great job in maintaining them. Um, but ultimately they should relatively be the same um, from lane to lane. Okay, and so any pointers for how to go down? Should you sit down, go on your stomach, do a running start? Yeah, I guess it depends on how, uh, how risky you want to be or how much, uh, you know, how much you want to live on the edge a little bit. I guess if you're more conservative, I would say, you know, put the butt right in the, right in the tube and, uh, and go down the hill. You know, as people get a little bit more comfortable on the tubes, they might go down on their bellies on the tubes. Um, but those are kind of the two, two approaches that we say, either just kind of sit down in the tube or, or you can kind of go down at a uh, kind of head first, like you would on a sled. Okay. Yeah. So I know you kind of turn around sometimes appetite. when you're, when you're on there <laughs> yeah. too. So you're kind of spinning at, at times, depending on how it goes. Totally. Yeah. So what do people need to know this year? In particular, you know the biggest thing is, I mean, and this goes for the resort, uh, kind of resort wide, is that you know tickets are tickets are online, and the real reason for that is that it limits the paper kind of transfer back and forth with liability forms. Signs are still up, kind of indicating sure. that masks are, are uh, mandatory um, while you're going up the lifts um, or the magic carpet, or as it relates to tubing. Um, but so those are those are big things. I mean, the mask obviously is something that everybody. Uh, right now in the world is is having to do and we're, we're no different here um, but ultimately and then the other thing is just spacing you know I think maybe in the past there's been a little bit you know you maybe bump tubes up with the person next to you as you're waiting in line and I think people and our staff are trying to keep that spacing uh, kind of throughout the process from bottom of the hill top of the hill waiting in line to go down the down the tubing lanes um, so trying to do best practice and and making sure that we try to keep keep that spacing and that six feet apart uh, sure. throughout the whole experience. Yeah, that all makes sense. And so we love the tubing, so much fun, but of course there's skiing and snowboarding at Buck Hill too. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's been a great place, I think, for people to have outlets uh, here to just get outside and do, and do something new. You know, tubing kind of gives uh, the people that don't ski and snowboard uh, a way to get outside and bundle up and, and hopefully look forward to snow uh, versus it being uh, something where like, oh, it snowed, I'm just going to hunker down and <laughs> not do anything. I think tubing and the skiing are giving people those outlets uh, to get outside and hopefully experience something new. All right, it is $20 for two hours. Hours are typically uh, 11 until 9 at night, Wednesday through Sunday. You do have to buy tickets before you go to reserve your spot. If a time slot is sold out, they won't be able to allow you on the hill. For example, today and tomorrow are all sold out. So good to plan ahead. We have details at WCCO.com slash links.